Please tell me we found all we needed to, Holmes. I think we found a bit more than that. Yet we have no clue as to where those people have been taken. And that's where you're wrong, Watson. We have more than enough. I just need to connect the dots. How about you pack your suitcase in the meantime, my dear fellow? Just in case. Investigation scene completed. Okay, so we are back at the Baker Street, but I'm, I'm wondering what happened to the little boy we left back at the port? Back at the... near the warehouses? I wonder... Is he still there on his own? I would have wanted to help him somehow, but... Maybe we can do that later. Let's talk with Watson first. It's hard to know how much to pack. I might bring a spare notebook just in case. How much to pack? Yes. Um, let's check out our uh, evidences. Was there something we missed? I don't think so. I think we need to do some deductions at this point. Yeah, we have only one deduction to make, and that is where have the abducted been sent to? Black Idlewise Institute, Switzerland. Abductors route. The abductees are headed for the Black Idlewise Institute, established in the and now I need to remember how to pronounce this. I think this one might be pronounced 1700s. Well, you can read the right century from there yourself. So it lies somewhere in Switzerland. Exciting. We are about to head there next. Uh, I shall pin this evidence. Uh, some key information for your case can be found in the archives. Open your case book with R and highlight evidence marked with an open book. Press Y to start your research in the archives. Okay, let's see. Archives. Oh, okay. What is this? Facilities of the world. Abductor's route. Yeah, this we read already. Well, location was Europe. Y Europe, uh, Switzerland, right? Um, date of establishment, 700s, 1700. Uh, field of activity, medicine or industry. <laughs> I think medicine might be the right thing, but that is my choice just because I played the previous version of this game. Let's see. Type of organization. I think it was private facility. So, yeah, I guess that was the right thing to choose. Next destination. The Black, I Black Idlewise Institute is an Interlaken... In Interlaken? I don't know how to pronounce that. Switzerland. Established in 1789 by Professor Keller, the institute specializes in mental illness and addictions. It is currently headed by Professor Guy Jax. Dr. Watson, how does a trip to Switzerland sound to you? It sounds unexpected. What makes you think we should head there? It's all about the box with narcotics and Mr. Colby's clue, the cross inside a rectangle. Put two and two together, add a dash of research, and what do you get? The Black Edelweiss Institute in Interlaken, Switzerland. If we hurry, we can still catch tonight's train. Exciting! Oh, it's raining and we are in a train! As grateful as I have been for your company, Dr. Watson, I'm afraid you shall have to investigate Edelweiss alone. Hello? Mr. Holmes, I fear you overestimate my abilities. Nonsense. You are a military man, a bastion of British courage. I'm no such thing. As a doctor, I avoided most combat, save for one dreadful day. My troop was ambushed in a village with innocents caught in the crossfire. 
Too many to help. The man with the rosary. He was one of them? A translator, yes. We were trapped. Six soldiers and myself. I thought it was the end. But Lieutenant Paget refused to go quietly. The men prepared for a final stand. I rose to follow, but Paget shook his head. He told me to run. That I had other men to save. They charged. And I fled through the rear. Oh. So you see, Mr. Holmes, I am a coward. No, you're not. The logic seems inescapable. Yes. You, a surgeon by trade, would have been perfectly useless in that conflict. What? No. And how many men have you helped since? Ailments eased, troubles tended? Mm -hmm. No more than a handful. Truth be told, I have become somewhat of a recluse. How many people could you help with 30 years ahead of you? Dozens? Hundreds? Patchett was correct. You can cease your self-recrimination. Mm -hmm. Holmes, I... I don't know what to say. I would start with, I am Dr. John Watson, may I look around? <laughs> oh, that was such a kind thing to say. And it is also very, very true. Wow, look at the scenery, the landscape, it looks lovely. I wonder how they've done this. Ah. <gasps> The Edelweiss staff will doubtless be eager to show off their facility to a fellow physician. I have already taken the liberty of sending a letter on your behalf to request a visit. And what of you? I shall be pursuing other avenues. Should you see anything troublesome or improper, simply notify the local authorities. Otherwise, try a little analysis yourself. You know my methods. Apply them. <sighs> oh, I'm... I'm having the feeling we're going to be captured, just like that fly. Oh, oh my goodness. Chapter 3, The Mountains of Madness. Idolwise Institute. Another Lovecraft reference. And here we are. This looks quite familiar, yes, but it has been beautifully retouched. I'm gonna take a look at all the places before talking with the lady at the reception. A visitor from space. Glowing meteor lands in Arkham. Oh, can we take it? No? Oh, they are having many of these instruments in here. How did I run? Oh, I can't. I, I cannot run in here. Okay. I cannot wait to see her. Okay. My daughter receives the finest treatment money can buy. Well, I hope so. Medicon comment then Rome, okay. Examination room. No visitors are allowed through here. Professor's orders. Okay. I guess we need to go and talk with the lady. Well, look at the light cascading through the window so Beautiful. Salutations, madam. I am Dr. John Watson. I was wondering if you've got word of my visit. Yeah, Dr. Watson. We received your letter on the matter. Would it be to see Professor Gygax? At their earliest convenience, yes. I shall try not to take up too much of their valuable time. Wait here, bitte. Mr. and Mrs. Bronson, your girl has made remarkable progress. See? Take a look for yourself. My apologies for keeping you waiting, Dr. Watson. Surely you understand how medical work can make one lose track of time. Do not be sorry, Professor. 
I too know the importance of closely attending to patients. The work hardly stops here. Yet the satisfaction of perfecting the mind compels us to persevere. I take it you welcome many a soul into your establishment? Admissions, yes. Visitors, though? I am curious as to what brought you to the Schwarzes Edelweiss. Word of mouth. An article I read back in London spoke highly of your institution. But rather than taking its word for it, I thought I would see things for myself. My asylum's reputation precedes it, then. Everyone, your attention, please. Guten day. Yes, hi. Hello. The name's Amos Colby, Northwood Detective Agency, Boston. I got questions that need answers. Who's in charge here? What seems to be the matter, Dr. Watson? You can tell me. By Jove, it, it cannot be him. <laughs> that man, well, the, the real Amos Colby lies six feet under in London. No, 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 no. In my line of work, it can't wait. The longer it takes if you to wish to, to recuperate, truth, Dr. Watson, you may avail yourself of the guest room. But I have so much more to discuss. Nurse, if you'd be so kind as to escort Dr. Watson to the guest room. Herr Colby, from Northwood Agency. How unexpected. I am Professor Gygax. I would be happy to answer your questions in the examination room. Oh, Look, no. Professor, unless you got any clues as to the whereabouts of... <laughs> There is no need to be alarmed. No one gets neglected in my family. Oh, no. Now, now. Let's not resort to brute force. Do not worry, Herr Colby. My methods are rather more delicate. Oh no. No syringes, no needles. Well, but if... Search him thoroughly. Then take him to the holding chamber. I need to decide precisely what to do with our guest. Oh my, we're in it now. The unmistakable scent of alcoholism. Did you walk through their doors as I did, or did they collect you off the streets? Good question. And these chains in the walls do not promise anything good either. So what do we have? Moldy bread, pillow, more chains. Mm, and another lock puzzle. Okay. How did this work? Almost. Wow, that was a good guess. Do I need something from there? Should I have used my powers? Can I even use them? Yes, I can. Scrap. Truncheon. Not the typical tool for a nurse. Definitely not what we need it, though. <laughs> Lock A. Investigation scene found. Examination room does not sound good. Can I run in here? Hannes Winkler. Anna Reichhardt? 
You there! I command you to free me at once! I'm not sure that's a great idea at the moment. How dare you deny me? I must have my revenge against the Lickspittles upstairs! Well, fortunately for you, I'm here to stop the very same people. You are? Indeed. But first, I must discover all I can about this institution. Tell me, have you witnessed the arrival of any foreign patients? Tell me? The goal? The impertinence to bark such orders? Please, we don't have time for this. Do you know with whom you speak? I am the great Napoleon! Okay. Huh. Napoleon Bonaparte? The one and only. Emperor of the French, first consul of the Republic, leader of La Grande Armée. Once I am free and have exacted my revenge against the guards who ridicule me, I shall rest happy in the arms of my beloved Josephine. Right. Well, I will leave you to your scheming, Emperor. Whoa, okay. Well, Ma the intensity of Maurizio has stayed the same, but with a very different personality. Aurelian Caladian. My heart is pierced by Cupid. I disdain all glittering gold. There is nothing can console me but my jolly sailor bold. Felicia Hung. Okay. Storage room. Can we enter it? Oh, more locks to crack. <laughs> Maybe one, two, one, two, three. Let's try it. Uh, one. No. One. Two. One. Blah! One. Two. And three. Ah, uh, not quite. Oh no, one is still missing. Oh. Now we get it probably open. Will you open? Oh, yes. The storage room. This looks much nicer than the one we had in the previous version of this game. Okay, let's take a look at what we can find from here. Oh my. This photo was damaged seemingly by oil. Okay, something else in here. I can make out the names listed here. Okay. Cooking grease. Is this the kitchen dumbwaiter? Probably, yeah. Looks like it's still operational. Okay, so maybe we can cause some mayhem in the kitchen with that. A painting in a mental institution. Vogel would be delighted. Speech and the Cerebellum by S.A. Becker. Okay. John Sallow, the Tulpa Phenomenon. I'm somewhat of an expert already. R.G. Hill, Dr. Connolly. It appears that all the psychiatric classics were banished here. Note from Professor Becker. Professor Guy Jacks, I have suffered serious chemical burns upon my hand, the consequences of your inexcusable actions. My session with Jada ended before it even began. Both things were so terrified she refused to talk and started to destroy everything in the room rather than let me approach her. What you did to Jada will not and cannot happen again. Let it be known that I consider your methods a barbaric malpractice if, as you so boldly claim, you wish to be the future of my facility, you must embody my high standards. Do not disappoint me again. Professor Becker, director of Black Idolwise. So from Professor Becker to Professor Gwijax. Okay. 
something else in here? Tubes of varying diameters. Interesting. Okay. Something similar from the previous version of this game. Um, and another investigation scene. A simple toolbox, yet capable of repairing anything. A certificate of appreciation from the Municipal Councillor to Professor Becker for contributions to the development of medicine in Interlaken. Okay. So we finished this scene. There must be something more in here, I'm sure. Um, let's quickly do this, just in case that we do not miss anything important. Sometimes I need to be quite close to the items I'm about to pick up before I can do anything about them. Anything with them. So that's why I'm still moving around this room, even though I think I've found everything. This was the running button. Oh, I feel so dumb. Okay. Oh, oh no. Block a patient. Patient Eloise K. Diagnosis dermatillomania. Uh, commentary nail trimming every day. Do not untie her hands even if she won't stop screaming. That's horrible. Patient Maurizio H. Diagnosis, mania dissociation. Commentary, after the incident with the nurses, prescribed therapeutic fasting for a week. Mention Josephine to make him more manageable. After the incident with the nurses. Okay. Uh, patient Mariana W. Diagnosis, hysteria. Commentary, keep raising the dosage until she forgets the child. Oh no. Stupor is quite acceptable. Patient Nils J. Diagnosis, nervous breakdown. Commentary, do not allow any visits. All letters sent to the patient must be destroyed. What the heck? <sighs> These are not treatments, these are something quite different. Very sturdy. I might borrow it. Okay, so do we need to make a plow pipe? Like in the previous version of this game? I have no idea, honestly, how that worker has not noticed us already. Any chemist would envy the quality of this equipment. Raw materials used to formulate medicine. Okay, um... What else? The final product ready to cure madness, or to push one deeper into its grasp. With this equipment, they can create any type of medication. 